At Atlantic City International Airport, this new technology is taking off. Researchers here just wrapped an eight-week trial testing the ability of robots to rein in costs and ramp up efficiency of key airport tasks. Backed by the FAA, the Airport Autonomy Initiative is a project involving tech companies and academic institutions with support from the Defense Department. The results are looking excellent. David Hickey is the CEO of Coast Autonomous, the company spearheading the project. How will this change the commercial flight experience for passengers? I think what's for the flying public, this is going to make it so that flights that are otherwise canceled or delayed actually make it to their destination. NBC News got a closer look at how it all works. So it's going through right now, mowing the lawn. Researchers are monitoring robots like DustyBot, which mows the grass, one of three autonomous vehicles tested here. This one scans the airport's perimeter, sending out alerts about people, animals, or objects that shouldn't be there. And this robot clears dangerous foreign object debris from the tarmac, which costs the aviation industry billions of dollars per year by damaging planes and could even cause crashes. These robots can go up to 25 miles an hour and allow operators to know exactly what was swept and when. But this same technology can also be used eventually for things like pushing planes off from the gate, even shortening delays during ground stops. The ground stop that goes on right now, particularly for lightning strikes, uh, will be a thing of the past. The old-fashioned approach might look closer to this. So this enormous piece of equipment would be used typically for sweeping at airports? Yes, Atlantic City International Airport, which is a relatively small commercial airport, has several of these large trucks with a sweeper attached and a vacuum capability behind it. But Hickey says the spiffier, cheaper bots won't come at a human cost. We need to look at robots in this area as supplemental. It'd be augmenting the ground staff and actually keeping that ground staff safer. Now that the trial is over, pending FAA approval, the tech could be coming to a city near you. You're saying this is the future of airports? I think this is the present of airports. We're going to be seeing these robots out on active runways very, very soon. Sam Brock, NBC News, Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. We thank you for watching. And remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.